Want to know more about this mouse, the Level 10 Thermal Take Advance? Stick around. G'day guys, I am Jordo and this is Brad from D1DLC and today we have a review for you of a gaming mouse. This is from Thermaltake, the TT Level 10 Advanced Gaming Mouse. Mm. And what we did is we put the call out to Thermaltake, we said if we had a hundred bucks, what kind of mouse could we get from you guys? And this is what they sent us. This is what they sent us Thank to have a look at. Thank you very much, yeah, much appreciated. So let's take a quick look here inside the box. It's actually packaged really well. I really like the packaging. I, I'm, pretty... I'm a bit of a sucker for a Velcro opening box right? like that. I know, look at that. Uh, like that. So straight away I like right? it. And it looks, it looks nice externally, like it looks like lots of moving parts. Uh, you know, once again, I'm probably the least PC savvy of the group. Um, this is the kind of thing that I look at and go, geez, that must be great. Yeah, well, I mean, it does look great, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? So I was uh, the one to actually give this one a go. So we're gonna open up the box here and have a look at what's inside. All right, here we have it. So one thing that we did get is stickers. Who doesn't love a couple of good stickers, right? Uh, with this mouse here, we'll just put that off to the side. Another thing we have is this key here. Why do we have this key? Yeah, see now, Jordo's reviewed this. This is the first time I've seen it. So my first question was, what the hell is that for? Uh, this is actually pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, look, it is different. Yeah. Mm. An adjustable mouse. Now, like some mice have, you know, you can put weights in it, but this one here, you could actually change the axis of the mouse itself. Oh, I, haven't so, done it. I don't want to mess with it now because uh, that's all right. yeah, it's yeah, going to so go to a good home. That so. is this. But basically, by tweaking this here, you're raising it up. So, mm. you know, it's about the player and, yep. and being comfortable. Which for me is not a huge deal, but I do like the fact that that's an option that's available for yep. someone. So yeah. it gives you that bit more freedom if you are a bit of a perfectionist for how you like your mouse. Yep. Um, you've got a couple of options to play around with that. So that's, yep. um, that's pretty impressive. I believe on the next model up, you actually have uh, not only the adjustable here, but you can actually adjust it like this as well. Yeah, okay, nice. So, um, so we should mention too the price point for yep. this. So we're, we're talking about $89? Yeah, about the retail. 89 That's bucks all we normally one. see. Yeah. Um, so now, as I mentioned, Jordo's reviewed it. It's my first time seeing it. So just a couple of things I noticed straight away on the mouse. What's your thoughts? Is... Um, it's a strange looking mouse to start with. Like it's got the, the exposed screws on the, uh -huh. the top, which yep. strikes me as a little bit of a, yep. a, a straight. I'm not quite sure what the look they're going for. It's is, a so. different design, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, it, it sounds nice. It's got that tactile feel with the, the roll button and all yep. that kind of stuff. I, I have a few concerns with the way it feels in my hand. It, it okay. doesn't feel... Do you think it feels wide? It, uh, it feels off center. It okay. feels off center in some way. Now I'm not 100% sure why, but um, it just, it, it feels a bit awkward to me. Yeah. The other thing that um, I would mention is the, the side buttons here. For me, anyway, that one there is in a bit of an awkward spot. Yeah. And I feel like I could quite easily be accidentally clicking that yeah. as I'm moving the mouse around. Because I do get a bit excited when I'm playing. Those side time. buttons, let's quickly just talk about this. I, I did find a cool mm. feature on this here. Is this particular mouse button back here is actually a five axis. So it's not just a button. Yeah. You can go up, down, left and right with this one as well. Programmable. Yep. There is 10 programmable buttons. On yep. And I can absolutely see a use for that in particular games as well. I think that's uh, I think that's really cool. I think there's a lot of great ideas in this mouse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we should, something different, so. we should talk about the, the honeycombing as well on the yeah. top here. Now, what's so, that for? I saw that and I'm thinking, oh man, maybe there's a fan in there. But it's not. What it basically just allows your hand to do is breathe a mm -hmm. bit better. Yep. Right? Uh, but the cool thing is when you do plug this one in, it actually has uh, an RGB. So this does 16.8 million chroma color as well which is quite nice. Uh, the adjustable colors are the wheel, the button, and inside here, the uh, the icon inside this mouse. So, um, yeah, 16.8. Yep, so it's gonna match your rig, whatever you've, you've set whatever. it up for. It's yeah. gonna look nice with, the, with whatever you've got. Using the advanced software, which you can download yeah. from the website as well. Yep. I just wanna talk about a couple of the, the nice things that I saw is the braided cable. I really like braided cables. Yeah, I agree with that. Nowadays, and this one here actually comes with its own little cover to keep it all gold plated as yep. well. So that's quite nice. So if you're traveling with it, it's not gonna get damaged, it's not gonna get dust and, and crap in yeah, it. Yeah, that's gonna, right. Yeah, it's good. The buttons themselves, uh, 50 million clicks. Mm -hmm. 50 million clicks on these things, which is quite nice, yeah. Um, you also have the Avago 9800 laser, and we're talking about quite precise technology right there in itself. Uh, the Omron switches enabling up to 50 million clicks. Right. That's uh, a lot of clicks, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of clicks. It's a lot of clicks. So the actual weight on this one weighs in at about 130 grams uh, without the cord. So uh, 
I actually find I like a heavier mouse. I, I tend to as well. I, I want to feel it in my hand. Yes. I want to really have that tactile feedback yes. as I move it around. Yep. That, the tactile feedback is the thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like a little bit of resistance, yep. but you know. Uh, yeah, so. So you've used this mouse? Yeah, yeah. So I actually uh, spent a bit of time on this mouse. And for me, I'm a palm grip. Like I, yep. I've said it before, you know, I really like to lay my palm down and it actually forced me into a bit of a claw. Yeah. I, I felt my hand coming forwards like this because it, at, back here, you can't really push the buttons, right? You have to work your way yep. forwards. Um, you know, obviously it's adjustable to get that, you know, height in there and maybe be a bit more comfortable, but it did. What, what's your thoughts on, on look, seeing my, this? Look, my initial thoughts are, look, it's, it's a very nice looking mouse. I feel like it's a near miss. You know, I like lots of the ideas that are in the mouse, um, but I just, I don't feel super comfortable with it in my hand. Yeah. Um, so, look, it does have that, obviously, adjustable aspect to it. So yeah. maybe if we, if I played around with it, yeah. um, I could get that. But again, I'm a simple gamer. I like to plug it and play. Yeah. So, um, for me, this would probably be a miss, yeah. just because I don't want to spend time adjusting my mouse. I want to plug it and I want to, I want to use it. Plug and play. Yeah, I definitely think there's a market for it, though. And again, at that price point, um, you know, anything under 100 bucks for a quality mouse like this, it's, it gives you some great options. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. So, but for me, I would, uh, if I had a, a, a try before I buy, I would probably give this one a pass. Yep, yep. I will actually add as well, um, I would not call this like an ambidextrous style mouse. Again. Mm -hmm. Once again, all the buttons on one particular side um, are lefty. You might find that quite difficult yep. to give that a go, especially with the five access button right back here. A little pinky doing that. <laughs> for you. So uh, listen guys, we do want to thank Thermal Take for sending this one out when we did ask for the sub 100 mouse. Much appreciated. If you like what you have seen here today, please smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to check in the description. Links to all our other content, including the social media and our website, d1dlc.com. Yeah, I am Jordo. This is Brad. Thank you very much for watching.